It seems that Marquette students have been trained for just about everything. In regards to training safety-wise, um, we went through vigorous um, fire drill trainings, uh, went through a lot of um, sexual offender trainings, what to do with when you see stuff. But MUPD Lieutenant Jill Weisensell wants students to be prepared for any type of emergency. When's the last time you heard of a uh, fire occurring on a college campus that was an actual real threat to a student? I mean, I in the last decade, I can't think of one off the top of my head. I can, in the last decade, however, think of school shooting situations. Active shooter situations are not just a recent issue. You know, after 1999, when Columbine happened, the law enforcement response to active shooter changed drastically. Lieutenant Weisensall has been training for an active shooter situation since 2005. She discusses what it would be like to be in a classroom at the time of the incident. <laughs> So what you probably see, you might hear some gunfire, and people are probably going to freeze and look around and not be sure what it was. Lieutenant Weisensell wants students to know what to do. MUPD now implements the Department of Homeland Security's Run, Hide, Fight program. So if I heard those shots fire, being fired, I want to get out of here as fast as possible. And that's where when we talk about the Run, Hide, Fight, it's kind of the progression of what are your options. Lieutenant Weisensell breaks this process down step by step. We don't want to be running in a straight line. We want to be zigzagging, right? So we want to be making sure we make ourselves as hard, hard of a target as possible. Hide is the next step, but not all objects make the best hiding spot. Concealment is just something that's going to like hide you from an incoming round, but may not necessarily stop one. So um, something like a concrete barrier or a concrete wall would be a great thing to get behind at that point. Safety after the incident is just as important. Don't be surprised if officers are coming to the door and through the room they're going to have some type of marking, whether it's a patch like this, you know, us and MPD, show those hands and stay put and just follow the directions of the police officers. Of course, Lieutenant Weisensell hopes students never find themselves in this situation. Something is better than nothing, always. Even if you had it and you don't need it, which we hope is the case, I'd still rather the students have the training. In Milwaukee, I'm Maggie Glenn, Marquette Wire News.